Hi, this is Mr. Set, and I'm going to teach you guys how to use it, make a scatter plot for your distance versus time and distance versus time squared for the free fall up. And so over here, I have my distance all from my data that I've typed up on my Excel sheet. Um, same thing with the time. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the last time measurement that I got for my third object. There really isn't any shortcut for this, you just have to punch these in. Okay, so now that I have my time and my distance um, put into Excel, I can convert first convert centimeters to meters simply by clicking on the box and pressing equal sign. Click the box that I want to divide by 100 for converting. Divide it by 100, enter, and I've converted from centimeters to meters. I can continue the same calculation all the way down the column by dragging this box from the bottom right hand corner. And I'll do it again. You look at you get the cursor to the bottom right hand corner and then it'll turn to this black cross right here. You click, left click, and hold it all the way down. And if I want I can even go all the way down to all three sets of data. Just make sure to delete these error values and they're all converted to meters now. I can do the same thing with time. I can square all my time values by clicking equal sign the value I want to square and then shift 6 which gives me this caret to the power of 2. Enter. Again I can do the same calculation all the way down the column by dragging the bottom right hand corner all the way down all three sets of data, erase all the errors, okay, so now I have all of my data uh, written out on my Excel sheet, D distance in meters is going to be my Y value, and then I'm going to start with time as my X value, so to make my scatter plot, I'm going to highlight my Y value, in this case it's D, I'm going to click on the insert tab, and I'm going to click scatter plot, and right now it only has my D, my Y axis, so I'm going to have to right click on series, put select data, and then edit series 1. I'm going to call this series toy because that was my first object. I'm going to get my X axis by clicking X axis, followed by highlighting what I want my X axis to be. For this lab, it's time. And then just to double check for the Y axis, what I can do, if I wanted to replace my y, my y values, I can delete this and just make sure highlight distance again and get my y, my y value. Press OK, OK. Now I have my series, the right data on here. I can add a best fit line by right clicking one of these dots, followed by clicking add trend line. Make sure you click I'll check all these boxes and close. And we can drag this to the side so that it's very clear for us. I'm going to replace this title and call it T distance versus time. Okay. I can add I can add titles um, to my to my axes because on the bottom I want to show that I'm using time. So I'm going to go up here to layout and then on the top you can see axis titles primary horizontal axis title title below axis I'm gonna call this time in seconds and I'm gonna do the same thing for the vertical axis let's just do a it doesn't really matter I'll rotate the title um, I'm going to call this distance in meters you can make it bigger by dragging the corners. Now I can put the same data, distance versus time data, from my other objects. 
simply by right clicking the legend on the right, clicking select data, and then instead of edit, I'm going to click add this time. Let's me add another set of data. I'm going to call this water bottle. For the x value, this was the time, so I'm going to highlight the time. And then for the y value, I want distance, so I'm going to erase what's on the y value and then highlight the distance in meters. Okay, okay. And that gives me the data for the water bottle. I'm going to again add a trend line, click check the boxes, and there is my trend line for the red. I'm going to put it right next to the red. And this is the blue one, I'm going to put it right next to the blue. Okay, one last one last set of data to add. I'm going to right click, select data, add one more. My third item was Dave's shoe. X value was time. Y value was distance. Okay. Okay. Then I can drag this down because it's getting in the way. Add one more trend line. I'm going to click on the green dots. Add trend line. Check the boxes. And this last trend line is for Dave's shoe. You can see my data, it's very similar. Uh, maybe Dave's shoe is a little different, but for the most part, you can see they're all about the same. Um, so you would do the same thing for a distance versus time squared graph. Instead of time for your x-axis, you would simply use time squared. So hopefully that helps you um, to graph your data. You know, I'll see you at school, in class. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I hope this has been helpful. Goodbye.